the lifestyle of Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, or Mark Sinclair, as his birth certificate reads, is an American actor and filmmaker. He was born on the 18th of July, 1967 in Alameda County, California. His mother, Dolores Shirley Vincent, is an astrologer and his father is MIA. Not the rapper, Vin has never actually met his biological father. He grew up with his stepfather, Irving Vincent, who used to work as an acting instructor and theater manager. Vin has a very interesting and very cultural background. His mother has English, German, and Scottish roots. Since he has never met his real father, we can't confirm those roots, though he has stated before that his parents' relationship would have been illegal in parts of the U.S. due to anti-miscegenation laws. Vin grew up with two brothers, one being his twin, and a sister. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your favorite celebrities. As we've already mentioned, Vin Diesel is a nickname, and the actor's real name is Mark Sinclair. So where and how did Vin Diesel come from? Well, he chose to go by Vin, and it comes from his adopted to father's surname, Vincent. Diesel stems from his days working as a bouncer. Yes, of course, Vin Diesel used to work as a bouncer. Look at him. When he was just 17 years old, he worked the door at a New York club called The Tunnel. Folks there used to call him Diesel because he always used to have so much energy, as in he was always fueled up. And so the name Vin Diesel became his preferred name. Vin's acting career started at a very young age. It was brought on by a very surreal moment and a bad decision. When Vin Diesel was 7 years old, his brother and a few friends broke into a New York theater with the intent of vandalizing the place. They were actually confronted by the theater's artistic director, Crystal Field, who offered them roles in an upcoming show instead of calling the police. And so Vin made his stage debut in the child's play Dinosaur Door. He remained involved with the theater through his adolescent years and went on to attend New York's Hunter College, where he studied creative writing. This, in turn, led him to begin screenwriting. Vin's career warmly started in 1990. At first, he really struggled to gain roles, but then he wrote, directed, produced, and starred in the 1995 short film Multifacial. How's that for multitasking? The reason he struggled to get roles is quite absurd, actually. Early on in his career, he was reportedly told by several film executives to rather lose the muscle because it was distracting and it wouldn't and help him find roles. That turned out to be a lie. The film attracted the attention of Steven Spielberg, who was developing the 1998 film Saving Private Ryan. Spielberg rewrote elements of the film to allow Vin to appear in a supportive role. In 1990, Vin voiced the Titan character in The Iron Giant, while gaining reputation as an action star after headlining the Fast and Furious and the Chronicles of Riddick film franchises. Starting in 2014, Vin lent his voice to a few films, starting with the character Groot in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, beginning with Guardians of the Galaxy. He can also be heard in Well Breaks the Internet. While his role as Dominic Toretto in the Fast and Furious franchise is undoubtedly his most successful and most well-known role, Vin is more than a fully loaded action character. In 2001, he ventured into the comedy scene by starring in Knockaround Guys. In 2005, he starred in The Pacific and in 2006, Find Me Guilty. While Vin is an incredible actor, he's also known for his work behind the camera. In 1995, he founded the production company One Race Films, where he's also served as a producer for executive producers for his star vehicles. Vin also found the record label Racetrack Records and video game developer Tygon Studios, providing his voice and motion capture for all of Tygon's releases. Since his career began, Vin has received 29 award nominations and he has won 8 awards. His nominations for films other than the Fast and the Furious franchise include Favorite Actor at the 2001 Blockbuster Entertainment Awards for Pitch Black, Choice Movie Actor, Drama Slash Action Adventure at the 2013 Teen Choice Awards for A Man Apart, Choice Movie Actor for Comedy at the 2005 Teen Choice Awards for The Pacifier and Best Performance by a Human Male at the 2009 Spike Video Game Award for The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. His Fast and Furious franchise list is a lot longer. In 2002, Vin was nominated for three Fast and Furious Awards and he won all of them. He was nominated for Best Male Performance Award at the MTV Movie Awards as well as the Best Actor at the Black Reel Awards. He won Best On-Screen Team Award at the MTV Movie Awards. In 2009 and 2010, he was nominated for another two awards, Best Male Performance at MTV Movie Awards and Favorite Action Star at People's Choice Awards. Both were Fast and the Furious. In 2011 and 2012, Vin received five nominations and received one award for Fast Five. Furious 7 earned him four nominations and three wins in 2015 and 2016. The Fast and Furious franchise is set to continue in 2021, with the release of F9 scheduled for May. Currently, producers have another two installments planned, which will bring the total up to 11 films. No wonder Vin Diesel is one of the world's highest grossing actors. His net worth is currently estimated at $255 million. Celebrity Net Worth reports that between June 2019 and June 2020, Vin earned $55 million between his various endeavors. Roughly $20 million of his earnings during that period is thanks to his upfront base salary for F9. And just to put it 
it all into perspective, he earns more from back-end equity stake in the film that pays a cut of profits. In February 2000, Vin purchased a 1,517-square-foot home in the Hollywood Hills for $562,500 in 2016. He sold a two-bedroom, three-bedroom home for $1.4 million. Not a bad profit. We guess that life with three kids made the home a little small. While Vin tends to rent houses on location for his films, he and his long-term partner and three kids reside in Los Angeles most of the time. His car collection, however, seems to be the main focus here. No surprises there, right? His classic American car collection includes a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona, priced at $5,903, a 1970 Dodge Charger RT, which comes with a base price of $28,995, though can go up to $74,900. He also owns a 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, Grand Sport, priced at $99,000, and a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. Apart from his flashy car collection, Vin also owns a 1.1 million trailer home. He sometimes uses it as his base while on set. The 1,100 square foot vehicle is two stories high and is kitted out with 70,000 worth of technology, including 3D flat screen TVs. It has granite worktops, a media lounge, and the upstairs has been turned into a special play area for his children. Vince's Atlanta home is one of the biggest purchases ever. The 11,900 square foot seven bathroom estate has everything the Fast and the Furious star needs to live like a king. The estate features a wine cellar, 12 person dining room, pool, and a fully customized gym that allows Vin to keep in shape. And why would he stop at properties and cars where he can own jets as well, right? Formerly known as the AI Galaxy, Vin's Gulfstream G200 is a twin-engine business jet that was designed originally by Israeli Aerospace Industries and was produced for Gulfstream Aerospace from 1999 through 2011. The plane is 19 meters long, has a cruising speed of 850 kilometers per hour, and has a top speed of 900 kilometers per hour, with a flight ceiling of 40 45,000 feet. The Gulfstream G200 allows Vin to travel across the world to his filming locations with both privacy and speed. Apart from his spending on flashy things, Vin has also set up a charity called One Race Global Film Foundation. It's a non-profit organization with the mission of fostering the growth of diverse national and international voices in underserved communities within the global entertainment industry. While life in the public eye comes with the job description, Vin really values his privacy and says, I'm not going to put it out there on a magazine cover like some other actors. I come from the Harrison Ford, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Code of Silence. While Vin has been in a long-term relationship with Paloma Jimenez, a Mexican model, since 2007, he briefly dated his fast and Furious co-star Michelle Rodriguez in 2001. Together, Vin and Paloma had three children, two girls and one boy. He named his son after his adopted father, Vincent. One of his daughters, Pauline, is named in honor of his co-star and friend Paul Walker, who died in November 2013. Vin is also the godfather of Paul Walker's daughter, Meadow. Vin and Paul were incredibly close. When the cast filmed Furious 7, Vin apparently had a premonition that he would die during filming. After he finished filming the dangerous stunt scenes, he went to Paul and told him about his premonition and said that if he did die, he, Paul, should let them know what kind of brother he had been to him. The two hugged and went about their day. The freaky thing is, it was the last time they saw each other before Paul died in a car crash. While Vin has been very open about the fact that the tattoos he sported in XXX are all fake, he has been pictured with the tattoo of Paul Walker's eyes on his back. While it could be that the tattoo is real, Knowing how close the two were, Vin has never confirmed or denied the tattoo. Something else you might not have known is that in 2003, Vin turned down the role of Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. Apparently it's because he wanted to make and portray characters that felt like superheroes in their own right. Well, we think Vin Diesel is a phenomenal actor in his own right, and we look forward to the release of the latest Fast and Furious films, and whatever else he works on after. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.